Well, I work for an oil company and we are mostly into uh, finding oil, right? And uh, I primarily work on uh, things like seismic wave propagation uh, because that's the most important technique we have for uh, mapping out reservoirs. Basically, through seismology, we can make detailed maps of the subsurface. Um, and we use these 3D wave propagators uh, to render those, essentially. Uh, well, my team primarily works on seismic modeling and seismic imaging. Seismic inversion also falls under that. And the main thing that we want is basically to turn uh, seismic data that we collect on the surface into 3D maps of the subsurface uh, so that we can see the structure of the layers and determine what type of rocks we have, you know, because porosity is a big thing for us, for instance. It can tell us where the oil is, if there is any, for instance. Uh, we use the GPUs for the heavy lifting. Um, the seismic wave propagators are very, very compute intensive. Um, you know, we run models that have billions of cells and we do tens of thousands of time steps and each cell takes uh, a few thousand flops, right? All of that stuff runs really great on GPUs actually because the algorithm is embarrassingly parallel. Every single cell can be processed independently of all the others. So the more compute cores you have, the faster it runs basically. And that makes the GPUs ideal for that kind of application. We can find more oil, that's one thing, but when we do find the oil, we also know where to drill uh, because we have better maps of the subsurface. And uh, the more detailed we can make those maps, uh, the easier it is for the organization to determine where to drill or where to stimulate uh, the fields, uh, for instance, to maximize production, right? So the more detail we can have, uh, the better, the easier it is for the rest of the organization to achieve what they want to do, which is more oil for less money, right?